In this video, we're going to see how to deploy and scale an application using Docker Cloud. So the first thing we need to do is create a node cluster to host our application. So I'm going to launch a new node cluster here. We'll give it a name, a couple of tags as well. Now, these will be applied to all nodes in the cluster and let us target container or service deployments later on if that's what we want. Yes, I want to deploy to Azure. I'm happy with those Azure settings and I want to deploy two nodes. No, let's go three. And you know what? 60 gigs is way too much storage. I'm going to say eight gigs. And away that goes deploying. Now, if we hit timeline here, then this link, see how we can see the deployment in real time. Anyway, this can take a few minutes, so I'll come back when it's done. Okay, success. Now, if we hit nodes here, we can see our new node cluster. None of the nodes hosting any containers yet, though, and all in Microsoft Azure. And this little slider up here lets us easily scale the number of nodes in the cluster. But with our nodes ready, we can jump straight over to the Stacks tab. Now remember, a stack is a collection of services or containers that effectively make up an application. So the stack is the app. Now we deploy Stacks to Docker Cloud using a stack file. Pretty much a Docker Compose file with a few minor differences. Well, first off, we'll give it a name. Then I'm going to paste in the contents of the stack file I want to use. So we're defining four services here. The voting load balancer based on the Tutamache proxy image, links, ports and roles. Same again for the result service. So it's image, links and ports. And likewise for the voting and Redis services. But note this one here under voting. Target number of containers, three. So when we spin this up, we should have three voting containers. Anyway, let's deploy. Okay, again, a nice visual representation of that stack being deployed. And again, we could drill down into the deployment detail if we wanted to. Okay, so that's done. Now notice, we're viewing services here. So actually, if we were to jump back up to the services tab here, yeah, we see essentially the same thing four services. And remember, those match up with the four services defined in our stack file earlier. Oh, and see how we've got those three voting containers running? Okay, well, it's node cluster at the bottom running our Docker engines, services on top of that running our containers, all grouped together into a stack or an application. And let's say our app's doing well, but we think we need more containers to support the voting web front end. Well, we come in here, slide the slider, think six is good and off it goes starting up another three web front end containers need to rein it back to three drag the slider back this way and they're already terminating now if we go back to our stack here view endpoints hit the voting db here and it launches our app's web front end so we can cast our vote obviously dogs <coughs> come back hit the results endpoint And rightly so, we see dogs as the clear winner. So that's how easy it is to deploy and scale applications using Docker Cloud. 